Go and take us. Brett or Brad 101, please. Brett or Brad 101, please. Hi. Tapeless recording systems. Yeah, right. There were plenty of lenses. And where there's lenses, there's cameras. And where there's cameras, there's tape. Hmm, camera tracks. Word had it that movies, TV shows, and commercials could be made without tape or film. And fair enough, there wasn't a piece of tape or film to be found. So I figured I'd play dumb and ask a few okay. questions. What's this? This is just a riser. Well, it's one of those things we put a camera on. So you put a camera on that. What's this? This is a head, something we put pretty much anywhere cinema style cameras on. Um, you know, it's one of our prep day stands. Yeah, yeah, you put cameras on heads. Can you say your name for me, mister? Chad Martin. I wasn't getting anywhere with this guy. So I decided to dig a little deeper. What's that? Is that tape? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we got plenty of tape, but we don't do anything with uh, recording tape. This box replaces the film stock. In a motion picture film camera, you have a whole bunch of mechanics that mm -hmm. transport the film stock and you know and they move the picture through the camera. In this particular camera, this is a raw camera. You are not processing any part of the image. There, it literally comes off the sensors. All in. There's three sensors: RGB, okay, red, right, green, blue. It's a color. If you go 422, your YCRCB, which is a mathematical alg algorithm to come back to a color space that you can actually see color out of. Sounded like double talk to me, but I still wasn't sure about the tape thing. What? Okay, so I decided to take a look around. These are tapeless workflows. These are camera. Yeah. Work, what do you say? Tapeless workflow. Tapeless workflow, yeah. But, yeah. That, but that camera is basically a tapeless camera. I yes. mean, and so the whole system has to be integrated with that camera. Correct. Okay. But I'll let Chad go more into that with you. Yeah. Okay. The dame was dancing around the question. I thought about asking around a little more, but then I thought better of it. Figured I'd stay focused on the whole tapeless thing. Figured I'd give this Martin guy another shot. If the camera's doing all the work, then what are these guys? What's this? What are these? You have to put the information somewhere. Yeah, both these systems are hard drive based. Now, the data rate for uncompressed 444 is over 200 megabytes per second at 24 frames per second. These okay. two machines right here mm -hmm. allow you to take the information coming off of a 444 HD camera. Okay. What's this one called? This S2. is called this is S2's uh, DFR, uh, Digital Field Recorder. This is Codex's recorder. The second codex. This is a 1.2 terabyte uh, drive RAID with Ooh. 10 drives in it. Yeah, terabytes like how many gigs? It's uh, 1,024 gigs. Yeah. Right. Well, the red, the red the is either. yeah, the red camera, the red one, yeah. is a compressed 4K. 4K is technically uh, 4,096 lines on the horizontal plane. So if we want to make apples to apples, high definition would be 1920. 2K being 2048, 4, uh, 4K being uh, 4096 lines on the horizontal plane. Okay, so they're going tapeless. But what's the upside? What's that going to do for a director with a deadline? The director has immediate access to his full resolution material. Right. Without having to go through post production. We can pull files on set and hand them off to various you know, uh, entities as far as production goes. Po uh, you know, editorial, right. post-production, conforming, Fine. color, effects, art departments, you know, right, you, right. you name it. We can hand files off to someone that they can load up in the laptop. They don't need a, a tape drive to actually handle this material. All that was fine and dandy. But there was tape. Okay, so when you're on right, so Let's be clear on that. Production is hired to do a production. They hand off the film to a, a lab. Mm -hmm. At that point, their hands are right. washed of all this financial That's where resources. post starts. That's where post starts, start. and that's where the agency takes over. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, with uh, database workflows, you kind of have to define that point now. 
because okay, at which point does it become post production? Because mm -hmm. it really starts yeah. out in production as post production. Yeah, it starts on the set. Yes. Post production. So uh, yeah. it it becomes a little bit different. Yeah. Well, I learned something from our friends at the Camera House, thanks to Angelina Legaspi. Legaspi. Mm -hmm. And my friend Chad Martin. I learned there's a lot to know about going tapeless.